here we have a system of linear equations in two variables that we want to solve. So this equation right here gives us a straight line. This equation right here gives us another straight line. And so what we're looking for is the point where these two lines intersect, assuming that they're not parallel or the same line. So I'm looking for their point of intersection, and so I'm going to solve this by what's called the addition method. So what I'm going to do is use the addition property of equality to add these two equations together so that I eliminate one of these variables. So the easiest one to eliminate right here is going to be the variable y. And I can do that by taking this equation and multiplying it by negative 3. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by negative 3, I'll end up with a coefficient of negative 3 right here. When I add it to this term, I'm going to end up with 0y. And so that, with that addition method, we end up eliminating one of the variables. So up here, this equation, I'm not going to have any change to, so I'll just say nc for no change. So this equation becomes 4x plus 3y is equal to 10. And this equation, when I multiply both sides by negative 3, is going to be negative 3 times 2x will be negative 6x. Negative 3 times y will be negative 3y. That's why we chose negative 3 to multiply by, so we would get a negative 3y right here. Equals, we don't want to forget to multiply this side by negative 3 also, equals negative 12. Okay, so now I add the two equations together. 10 plus negative 12 is going to be negative 2. 3y plus negative 3y is 0. Of course, it comes out that, that way because we set it up, so it would come out that way. And then 4x plus negative 6x will be negative 2x. So now I've taken this system of equations and reduced it down to just a single equation in one variable, which is easy to solve. Negative 2x equal negative 2 means that x is equal to 1. So that turns out to be the x-coordinate of the point where these two lines over here intersect. To find the y-coordinate, I'm going to take this value of x and substitute it back in here or here or here or here, any one I want. It won't make any difference. I'll get the same result. So let's make it easy on ourselves and substitute it back into this equation right here, giving us 2 times 1 plus y is equal to 4. So that's 2 plus y is equal to 4. Add negative 2 to both sides, end up with y is equal to 2. So that's the y coordinate of the ordered pair uh, of the point where these two lines intersect. So my solution to the system is the ordered pair x equal 1, y equal 2. That ordered pair satisfies this equation, and it also satisfies this equation. And in fact, it's the only ordered pair that does that, because these are two lines that intersect in one point, and, those are, and these, uh, this these coordinates right here are the coordinates of that point of intersection.